We've got somebody up next who is maybe newer, uh, newer face to some of you, a newer technology company, but other, another one of these poster children of building standards first, coming, working with the Real Estate Board of New York, um, and working on front end of choice, web AP update, all these concepts that we've sort of dreamed about for a long time, but having the ability and the discipline to work from a standards first perspective. So excited for you to hear some of the new things that are coming out with Perchwell and Brendan Fairbanks, its founder. Hey, Sam. Slide that up. All right, there we go. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. My name is Brendan Fairbanks. Uh, and my company, Perchwell, is a data and workflow platform for the residential brokerage industry. Uh, we are based in New York. We operate the uh, Real Estate Board of New York's Residential Listing Service, also known as the RLS, uh, which is the de facto MLS in New York. Uh, and Perchwell is also the front end of choice for most uh, New York City brokers. So I'd like to share with you um, today how uh, RISO standards have been a starting point for all of our technological, or many of our technological development uh, decisions, and how we see it as a kind of key pillar uh, going forward for ushering in a new, uh, a new uh, wave of long overdue innovation um, in this industry. Uh, and that's innovation geared towards uh, empowering brokers, empowering agents uh, with technology, with tools to deliver ever better experiences uh, to, their, uh, to their consumers and grow their businesses as a result. So um, in building Perchwell into what it is uh, today, uh, we've worked closely both with brokers and also with uh, Rebney, the Real Estate Board of New York's um, internal team. So we've become intimately familiar with the complexities uh, and the challenges of this industry's data structure, uh, this industry's technological ecosystem, um, and with the needs and expectations of brokers and agents and professionals uh, in this industry. Now, as, as many of you may know, New York is a little bit different in that, uh, or from traditional MLS markets, in that we already have a front end of choice uh, structure in New York. Uh, so in addition to Perchwell's front end, uh, there are multiple other uh, front ends that plug into the RLS back end uh, in New York. So both in terms of pushing data to the, to the MLS, to the system, um, we have multiple different ad edits already uh, working in New York. Um, and pulling data from it. So, you know, multiple different search tools, client collaboration tools, you know, everything that, um, that an agent or broker uh, needs day to day. So, brokers in New York have a lot of choice uh, around what tools uh, to use in their day to day um, with, their, uh, with their clients. Now, um, in operating that system, Perchwell's job, our job, our responsibility is to ensure that data flows uh, smoothly, accurately. Uh, there's no room for error there, uh, obviously. Now, through our experience uh, on both sides of, uh, of this equation here, so on the front end side and on the back end uh, data side, uh, we've learned you know, the critical importance of interoperability and connectivity um, between technologies and apps. A big component for, um, for us facilitating that connectivity has been uh, RISO standards. RISO has enabled us to build a data layer, an API layer uh, that makes this interoperability uh, not only possible, but uh, dare I say it, uh, easy. Um, because we can do this in a standardized and streamlined way, uh, this has been um, you know, something, that, a project that's actually been you know, possible and successful uh, to roll out in New York.
I'll get this right eventually. Um, so a little bit about data. Um, broadly, there are two types of challenges that, uh, that RISO has helped us work through around data architecture. So first, keeping data clean, consistent, compliant. Uh, now this is hard enough uh, with a monolithic uh, MLS system architecture with just a single ad edit. Uh, with front end of choice, however, uh, we've got several different ad edits all pushing data uh, to the back end uh, via API. Now this means we don't have control necessarily over the front end. Uh, we don't have a crutch of being able to um, validate data on the front end, um, validate data on what is input. So we've got to ensure that our data and API layer uh, is robust and flexible enough to, uh, to allow the right data and only the right data to come into the system. And standards play uh, a huge role in that. Uh, secondly, uh, and perhaps more, uh, more excitingly, is um, building an architecture that allows supplemental data to be injected uh, from the top down. So we're not necessarily relying only on what brokers and agents input uh, through their ad edit uh, directly with their listings, uh, but we're also incorporating other data sets sourced independently. So this is everything from transactional data to zoning, permit information, um, owner information, geospatial data, you know, the list goes on and on. Now, sitting here today, we can't know exactly what that data universe is going to look like uh, in a year, in two years, uh, much less five or ten years. Uh, but we do know that it'll continue to grow um, and that uh, the, the benefits of being able to harness it, take advantage of it, make sense of it, um, are also going to continue to grow and compound. We believe that MLSs uh, who can source, structure, package these data, uh, in such a way that makes them easy to use, easy to make sense of, easy for brokers uh, to use with their clients, with their consumers, um, are going to add tremendous value uh, for their members. So we built Perchwell to facilitate that, and RISO standards, as a, again, have been instrumental in, in how we've developed that architecture. It's allowed us, again, to do it in a way um, that is uh, not only robust and localized, but scalable. So um, flexibility and interoperability are obviously a common theme. Um, here, I think I've heard those words, I don't know, dozens of times already this morning, so sorry to keep, uh, to keep using them. But um, we think it's really important for an MLS tech platform to be able to respond uh, to regional differences, to changes in policy, even to differences within how, um, or among how brokers within the same MLS, uh, within the same association, uh, want to conduct their business, want to run their, their operations. So on Perchwell, you know, business rules are configurable down to the individual agent level. And this may sound like overkill, uh, but we learned pretty quickly how, um, like from our brokerage clients, uh, just how helpful it would be for them uh, if we could implement such a construct. So we did. Um, and again, RISO standards uh, really helped us in developing this piece of the product. You know, without a standard, we, uh, it would have been you know, quite difficult to build this in a way that is scalable across the US. But since we could build a standard, or you know, we could build to a standard in New York uh, that we knew would be the same in California and everywhere in between, that changes the calculus in building the product, right? So it's a lot easier to commit resources, to commit additional resources to building a product um, in a way that does go that extra mile for brokers, for agents, uh, when you know that it's scalable, when you know that you can bring it uh, to, to multiple places across the country. Um, I actually think that this encapsulates a lot of the uh, value of uh, the RISO project, uh, because RISO you know, incentivizes and facilitates uh, the development of better technologies for the industry because we as technologists know that they can be widely implemented and scaled. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, Perchwell's platform um, is uh, not only a robust MLS front end, but um, we also support front end of choice. Now we take this approach because while we think there's a lot of things that we can do uh, well, we also believe that um, the next generation of MLS needs to be a foundational um, or provide a foundational layer for others to innovate, for others to bring in um, new products and offer them to, um, to the industry. Uh, so we're focused on creating a vibrant environment of competition to build better products, to build new products, to build uh, best-in-class products uh, for agents, for brokers, uh, to build their businesses, to evolve their businesses uh, going forward. So we're going to continue to innovate on the 
um, on our data and API layer uh, because we want to enable the MLSs that we work with to build, to be able to build and attract uh, the best technologies for their members. Uh, in doing so, we look forward to continuing to contribute to the RESO project. Uh, we really believe it's critical to, um, to building a world, to building an industry where uh, brokers have easy access to the technologies and the tools uh, that they need to compete. Uh, and we also believe that MLSs uh, you know, need to, should play a strong and central role in facilitating that um, in maintaining that ecosystem uh, for their membership. So uh, just, to, just to wrap up here, uh, we think it's a really exciting time in the industry. A lot of technological change uh, is coming. I think finally um, a lot of that change is going to be geared towards